Welcome back to another video. My name is Lukman and today we're going to be taking you through the Maple community, but in particular the 3E property variants. These are the end units as part of four units together or two, and they're five bedroom townhouses. So what's happened over the last 15 weeks? Of course, my normal videos are every eight to six weeks. So it's going to be interesting to see over a longer period of time to see what's happened. Of course, you can see a lot of transactions that have happened and we'll talk through some of those in a moment. But as a summary, we've seen 10 sales and they've happened between 3.9 million all the way to 4.6, which is a big breakthrough. Um, but of course, we'll go through the sales transactions in a moment. 13 transactions. Now these are rental transactions. And what I've done is I've taken out some of the renewals. So these are people renewing from COVID at much lower rates. Uh, some of them as low as, you know, 120, 130,000. And so what we've seen is 250 to 400,000. Now I would say the magic number is around 300 for a new contract at the moment. Of course, you know, some furnished units, some specific units that will be in a better location, more ideal for specific clients. So that's where you're seeing the higher numbers. The lower numbers, uh, in my opinion, are going to be, you know, negotiated with current tenants to make things fair on both sides, considering where the market is at the moment. So let's go through the first four transactions, the sales transactions. Um, but before we get into that, what you will see across the board is we were at a point where, you know, we were sub 3.9, th sub 4 million, I would say. And we've actually just started to, you know, break 4 million. And that's become more or less the benchmark of where transactions are happening. Of course, as usual, you've got to bear in mind that these properties are all transferred. So, of course, there's pending transactions um, that haven't gone through, but then they may have sales agreements in place. So first, first unit here, really interesting one, number 88, that sold at 3.975 million, so just shy of 4 million, slightly larger plot. What's interesting about this particular unit is that it's very close to, you know, the, the petrol station, the supermarkets. Uh, so, you know, some people see that as a, as a negative, but there is a picnic area, a park area just behind the property. So I would say that's really quite a nice one to go for. Um, just very close to it, 4.2 million, rented till February 23 at 205,000. Uh, slightly larger plots than this one here. That's number 96, and that sold for 4.2 million. Coming over to the other side, of Maple One, we've got a second Greenbelt property. Remember the first Greenbelt is the widest pass um, of the Greenbelt. And then you've got the second and third Greenbelts that are you know, slightly narrower, but still very, very desirable in terms of uh, for people to purchase. Sold for 4 million, and that's a standard plot size. This property here is between the Maple One and Two border. And uh, so it's a larger, green area and also a pathway actually quite a nice area to buy a property 4.2 million that's number 398 this one's rented at 140 till may 23. have a look at this property here so it's on the opposite side of this maple one and two border 4 million purchase price and this is a big property because of the shape of this one here and the way that it's faced the plot is able to you know, reach 3,687. So really big property, great sales price, um, considering what you're getting. We've got two properties together, very similar plot sizes. And this one's rented at 245. This one achieved 4.1 million, and it's rented at 136,000 till February 23. These two properties are both fantastic larger plots, very close to the, the pool and the gym, and of course the park areas. Uh, what's particularly good and why I like this side of the um, community center of this partition road here is because you know, you got play areas here, and of course you know, there's a level of noise um, that, that you'll obviously be subject to, 
but with this one here that you know there's no public areas for people to spend time in between so I would say that that's a really great unit this unit here this is 176 this particular property was on a payment plan great location and it was sold vacant on transfer um, great sales price 4.25 million and uh, it's a slightly larger plot on the second green belt there coming back to the first green belt again we have 4.6 million dirhams now i just said that you know buying something on the other side of these roads is probably uh, you know more ideal but you know to some people they want to be as close to that pool as possible especially if you have young kids and they will obviously be able to you know go by themselves without crossing any roads 4.6 million and a standard plot size what a shade slightly more this is the final transaction 4.15 million is what it was sold for so on the second green belt this is property 206 and this is rented till january uh, 23 at 130,000. so really interesting to see that number come in but as i said um, across the board we're seeing you know more than 4 million come in it's going to be interesting to see what happens you know coming into the new year today is the first of january so i hope everyone had an amazing new year's happy new year and we're going to see you know america have put interest rates up 0.5 percent we're just waiting to see what the reflection is um, in the uae so is this going to affect prices uh, of course over the last three weeks as a lot of people leave dubai for their home countries to spend christmas and new year's uh, with family you know, when they come back, are we going to see a lot more transactions happening? Are we going to see the market correct itself? Um, it's going to be really interesting. Um, I think I think over the next three months, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Um, but prices are pretty stable. You know, we have there's not there's not a massive gap um, apart from this one transaction. Um, you know, when someone's really motivated and they really love love a property and they're an end user, you know, sometimes they're going to pay pay over the odds for a property. I don't particularly see, you know, this being the new norm, but of course, if we see, see some of these transactions coming in, then we'll know for sure. But thank you very much for joining me on this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, recently, I've done uh, quite a few uh, walkthrough videos. Some are yet to come onto the channel as well. And uh, of course, I'll keep you up to date uh, with what's happening in the Dubai Hills community as a whole. Uh, if you do have any specific Dubai Hills qu uh, questions or any questions about, you know, this particular video, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Uh, you can find my te telephone number, my WhatsApp telephone number in the description below. Thank you very much. Take care.